What's happening, everybody? Welcome back. I'm not going to lie. Today was a day when I was struggling for ideas and inspiration. When all of a sudden, it hit me. We've just had an update. There's Molotovs, there's flashbangs, there's train uploading to explore. So that was the idea. We'll get stuck into them, see what they're all about, and see where that takes us. And little did I know, this was going to be one of the most fun and unexpected adventures that I've ever had in Rust. So without any further ado, let's get stuck in. Today's run started pretty much like any other. I loaded in on the beach with a rock and a torch, made a run to the centre of the map to get to Outpost, with my first aim being to farm up enough resources inside the safe zone to build a starter base. Apart from the fact that I was starving due to a rather severe lack of food, things were going pretty well. But as we know, in Rust, things don't stay that way for long. However, this situation would have a much happier outcome than normal. Oh, Jesus. How can they put them outside a safe zone? Right, I'm in the safe zone. Just like that, I'm in the safe zone. What's up, bro? Fucking scientist, man. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Thank you. Oh, Jesus. Thanks, man. Thanks. <laughs> You're a gentleman, man. Thank you so much. What a top banana. It's just give me a whole kit. Struggling to believe my luck at this point, I used a bunch of the meds he gave me, plus I bought some food from Bandit Camp to sort out the starvation problem. Then, while recycling some extra gear that I didn't need, I bumped into his teammate. Hello, my friend. Hello. Hello. How are you, man? Yeah, I'm alright, man. How are you? I'm really fucking good, man. Were you the guy that I'm just gave me this? You're all right. I was gonna say, are you the guy that just gave me all this outside? Uh, no, that's my teammate. Oh, is it? Oh, fair play. Oh, thanks, man. Well, thank him for me anyway. Yeah, but it might as well have been me, man. Oh, no. Ah, I'm, it's I'm, fine, man. Enjoy. I appreciate it, man. Thank you so much. Enjoy it, man. Don't, don't, don't be so thankful. Just enjoy it and uh, play the game, you know? Uh, we just like to uh, be kind to people. Oh, well, it's, it's, it's rare in this game, man, so I appreciate it. Yeah, that's kind of true. It's really rare. Yeah, I, I know. Absolutely, man. Absolutely. Right, I'm going to see what all these Molotovs are all about, man, and hopefully I'll see you around. Yeah, okay. Enjoy, man. Thanks, man. What is going on? That's the nicest group ever. Next thing, I suppose, should be to farm up some stuff for a base. Get a little starter down first. Let's do that first. That always comes in handy. Nearly got enough scrap for a tier 2 already. What is going on? Let's go and build our starter base, I suppose. I left Outpost feeling abundantly aware that I had no base, yet a full kit and an AK with a ton of ammo and resources on me. So I figured the best thing to do would be to drop a stash next to my sleeping bag while I'm building, hide the most precious of the gear, and then come back and get it later. Now you might notice that my upgrade game is a little bit inconsistent here with a metal door frame and stone walls and a wooden roof but 
There were people running around outside the entire time I was trying to build this, so I was just rushing just to get something down just so I knew I was secure. Go and get that stat. Oh shit. Guys. Guys, come on, man. Do me a f oh. Thank you, man. apologize, man. No, 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 it's all good, man. I appreciate it. Sorry. Thank you. Mate, everyone on this server, when they do something wrong, they're always pretty sound afterwards. Oh, there it is. Got it back. Okay. So after filling my furnaces and making some last base upgrades to make it habitable for now, I figured I'd go out on a roam in a bit of a scrap run, because the last thing you want to be is that guy that built his base and then never leaves it. Now, it was at this point, as I was leaving the mining outpost and heading back towards outposts to recycle, that I saw the guy that had given me the kit before asking for a favour in the chat. And I figured it'd be rude not to reciprocate, you know? Those guys were good to me, so the least I can do is offer them a hammer. You after a hammer? Hey, what happened? Did you lose your kit? No, 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 I still got it, man. Oh, you have it? Okay. Yeah, still nice. got it, still got it. Nice, man. Oh, okay. thank you very Take much. Thank you for the hammer, okay? Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Yeah, no problem. Take care, man. dude. This is awkward. We're running the same way. <laughs> this is a wholesome server so far. I recycled everything that I'd got from that last run and headed back to base. And I figured with the run going so well, I might as well have a look to see what else is available and what else might be just that little bit juicy. Is there anything else worth looking at around here? Dome. Dome might be pretty cracked on here. Let's go and have a look at dome. Oh, there's a horse. I've never wanted to see a horse more. been a while since I've done this parkour, this is not going to go well. Okay, this is kind of bananas. Find a chainsaw. What? Oh, I need to get out of here, man. I smashed the barrels on top of the silos and got stepping on that horse as quick as I could because the last thing I wanted was to be caught out with all this loot on me. But luckily, I made it back to base without any incident, depoted everything, and as soon as the night was over, decided it was time to upgrade the base a bit. After all, what's the point in having all this loot if you're not protecting it? And with all that done, I figured now is as good a time as any to take a break.
Returning both well rested and well fed, I decided that now was the time to sort of step things up a little bit and really start having some fun with this wipe. And given what I'd perceived to be the kind nature of this server so far, I just dumped a message in the chat, seeing if anyone wanted to go raid oil rig. And true to form, the second I put it in the chat, the guy from before jumped straight back in, saying he was down. I arranged to meet him at my base. We jumped in Discord together, and off we went. Hey. Yo. Okay, uh, how good are you at flying? Um, I'm all right. La flying's not the problem, landing's the hard bit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm gonna warn you in advance, I'm pretty terrible at this game, man, so... Okay, I'm gonna <laughs> warn you too, because I'm kind of fucked up right now, so... Uh... <laughs> Fair play. Right. One guy coming up. He's not coming anymore. <laughs> Jesus, that's a lot of gear. Um... Okay, I'm uh, going to the top floor now. So, uh, yeah, I'm outside the red card room. There might be one or two scientists in here, but I don't think yeah. there's anyone there. Yeah, no one. Oh. Right, do the crate, I suppose. How do you want to do it? Uh, I'd, the only times I've done it before has been like to do it and then jump up on the crane. Yeah. Okay. You go to crane. I go yeah. to top of this building, and then. Uh, okay. And then I I will take the aggro at first, so uh, it's gonna be really easy for you to fight them because then mo most of them are gonna fight me. Yeah. Okay. Or focus on me. Okay. Trying to do this with an AK is going to be tough, man. I suck with this gun. One, two, under me. Under you? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, I right. think we killed most of them already, actually. Yeah, I think that's... Did you kill him? I think so. I'm gonna go check. I think that's all of them. <laughs> that was so fucking quick. Yeah, that was crazy. Yeah, that was all of them. How long are you planning to stay on? Uh, not for. It's like two o'clock in the morning here, man. So. Yeah, not, it's, not too it's much longer. three o'clock here. So. Oh, Jesus. Oh, where are <laughs> yeah. you? Nowhere. Oh, Christ. Here we go. Wow. Uh, 
you want me to carry? D uh, if you can, yeah. yeah. I've, I've picked up everything that I can. Well, that was the easiest oil rig experience I think I've ever had. <laughs> <laughs> so we left oil rig juiced to the absolute max. We went back to his base first, to depot, because he wanted to show me the raid that he pulled off and all the crazy, crazy amounts of loot that it had got in him. Oh, so, yeah. oh, right, okay. Yeah, when you're in the clan, you have the codes automatically. Oh, automatically. Right, okay. That's yeah. handy, man. This is the loot drop. Yeah, just take whatever you want. Really? Yeah, and uh, I have a full inventory that... I can uh, fill up for you and uh, go with you. Jesus, fourteen C four. Yeah, we have some boom. Does he have a? Is there a research table here? Oh, there is, isn't there? There's uh, one upstairs. Yeah, it's yeah upstairs. Yeah. So this guy, being the absolute top level host that he was, let me take whatever I wanted out of the boxes to research them, while he ran off to grind up some of his components to get some more scrap. But this got me thinking. There was a furnace base next door that was unraided. We had a mountain of boom. Surely, we must be able to make something happen. Is there anything around here that's worth raiding, do you know? Um, I don't know. Um, are we blowing up the... Yeah, there's a, ba there's a little base next door, isn't there? The furnace base. Yeah, see what's in it. It probably has a lot of sulfur. I think they had like 80k sulfur when I read it into this. What's it called? Uh, pumpkins? Yeah. Oh, I thought it was a supply signal, it was a smoke grenade. Oh, Jesus. Uh, yes, 20k so far. Well, that's, um, yeah, well, that's what I've picked up so far. What the? Do you have friendly fire turned off? Uh, no. <laughs> That'll do it. Ah, that was wasted. Uh, yeah. With a load of extra sulfur in tow, and as much loot as we could carry each, we jumped back in the mini and headed back towards my base. This fine Norwegian partner that I had was jumping off for the night though, so I was going to have to do the rest of it solo, and I had some ideas about what I wanted to do. If I was going to go out raiding and causing havoc in the area around me, I wanted to make sure that I was as reinforced and impenetrable as possible given the base that I had. So everything, floors, ceilings, doorways, the whole lot, everything went to high quality. And then set out to complete one of the final tasks I tried to complete in a previous video. Unlocking everything at tier 3. I just made a tier 3 and I've got 10 thousand scrap left what is going on tier three can go right there let's fucking go look at that tier three completed sun that's insane now having achieved something in the game that i never thought i would be able to the only logical thing to come next is to head out and fire off some rockets. Everything down there has already been raided. Oh, there's another one down there.
Okay, we've got some boxes. Got some guns. Got some more guns. Got some charcoal. Got a ladder BP. Okay, um, that's just bedrooms. So we've got to keep going down. Rocket, so might as well do some damage with it to myself. shit out of me. Oh. Jesus Christ. Oh my god, how did he kill me from there? Now before you see this next section, I have to put a disclaimer on it. This is not how I'd like to conduct myself or anything that I strive towards. Just bear in mind that everything that I did, I did in the heat of the moment and I take full responsibility for. handed him everything he needed to finish that raid. Shit. GG's man. Over here man. Dude. Do you, do you want a base? Uh, uh yeah. Yeah? Alright man. Well right, follow me man. There's no way I was gonna beat this dude. He's just better than me. I'm not in the business of making life like uncomfortably bad for myself. It's all unlocked, man. You can come in, help yourself to whatever, man. I'm I'm done. No, I appreciate it. No, no worries, man. There's um, yeah. If you come through here, there's uh, there's like four and a half thousand scrap in the TC, and there's like laptops and all sorts, man. So I like, just help yourself. There's a mini on the roof as well. Uh, I saw that on the way over. Thank you. No worries, man. No worries. Have a good one. I hope there's some stuff in here that's useful for you. and Maybe I'll catch you on here next time. Appreciate it. No worries, man. Take care. Later. So if nothing else, we have established that I suck at throwing grenades and flashbangs. To the point where I was that embarrassed I had to give my base away and log off. And that ends my experience in Solo Rust this week. If you enjoyed it, if you didn't, either way, leave me a comment, let me know. If it's something you want to see me do, if it's something you want to never see me do again, let me know. If you want to troll me about the state of my grenade throwing, please, I welcome it. I cannot wait. Leave me that comment. But genuinely, I hope you enjoyed it, and hopefully, I'll see you in the next one. Laters.